Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am your host this afternoon. I am Dietmar Ostermann, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Cabernet Sauvignon 2018 versus 2016. The two best vintages of the decade. You have me seen and heard many of times saying what a big fan I am of Napa Valley Cabernets. And I have told you in multiple shows that 2016, in my judgment, is the best vintage of the decade, if not in the last two decades. And that 2018 comes really, really close. In fact, Wine Spectator disagrees with me, and Wine Spectator gave the 2018 vintage overall a score of 99 points versus they gave the 2016 vintage an overall score of 97 points. That is very close and I do believe they are very close as well, but I do think 2018 is more easily approachable, less tannins in the wine, meaning potentially that if you drink them right now, they may be more appealing. Whereas the 2016 have a good strong tannin structure in them that makes it not so nice to drink them very young and they are significantly more age worthy and potentially will last longer and today i'm gonna put it to the test i chose three of my favorite napa valley cabernets in the affordable price category and i'm tasting the 2018 versus the 2016 and try to tell you which one I believe is better today. Let's get started with wine number one. Wine number one is no stranger to the show, the Chateau Buena Vista from Napa Valley. This is the 2018. I'm starting with the 2018s in all three of the wines that I'm trying today. Cork pops right out. And ladies and gentlemen, I have with me in this show, as I have in every show, my longtime friend and partner. I couldn't do it without him. Corky the Cork out. Oops. Well, maybe this fits well too. So let's give the Buena Vista a first look. These are relatively young Cabernets. It wouldn't hurt to decant them, but uh, in this show, six vines, that takes too long. So I'm just gonna drink them right away without decanting. So what do we see? It's a dark ruby red wine, significant lines in the glass indicating high alcohol content, good looking color. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Deep black fruit aromas, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of vanilla. It's a plethora of uh, aromas coming out of this wine. Very good. Let's give it a whirl. Extremely balanced. Beautiful in the mouth. Blackberry galore good tannins, meaning there is some tannins there, but it's not overbearing. It makes the wine taste really interesting. And the tannins and the alcohol keep each other in check. The acidity is medium. It all balances the wine out. It's a full body wine. Beautiful. This wine is a steal. It's available for $30. Vivino rates the 2018 higher at 4.4 and the 2016 at 4.3. I give the 2018 a 4.6, ladies and gentlemen. It is this good. Back to back, let's do the 2016 of the same wine, Chateau Buena Vista.
The clock call stands ready. Feeding time. Clock call. Okay. 2016. Chateau Buena Vista. The color is beautiful. It appears a little bit more brilliant. Dark ruby red, of course, but a little bit more fire in the body than the 2018. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Similar aroma profile. Blackberry fruit is uh, overwhelming. Oak and vanilla in the nose. Multifaceted already in the aroma. Let's give it a whirl. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this wine is ready to drink now. I can feel that the tannins are a little bit more pronounced. I would think that it will last a year, two or three longer. Um, we have oak, vanilla, a very, very good balance, just like the 2018, but it feels just a tick more sophisticated. 4.9, ladies and gentlemen, 4.9 for this beautiful wine. Okay, test number two. I'm starting off with the Behringer Knights Valley Reserve. This is not the regular Behringer Knights Valley. This is the Knights Valley Reserve, so the better one. From their legendary Knights Valley Vineyard, which is about 12 miles north of their headquarters in St. Helena. The reserve is about a $50 wine, whereas the regular one is substantially cheaper. Here we have the 2018 rated 4.1 and the 2016 rated in Vivino at 4.3. So it's the opposite. The 2016 higher rated on Vivino, popular as well. And uh, in the Chateau Buena Vista, the 2018 was higher rated. I found them very close, but I rated the Chateau Buena Vista 2016 slightly higher. Let's do the 2018 Behringer Knights Valley Reserve. Oh my God. This is dark ruby red as dark ruby red gets. Significantly darker than the Buena Vista. No see-through. Heavy lines in the glass indicating high alcohol content. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. The um, fruit aromas are more laid back, not as pronounced in your nails, in your face, as at the Chateau Buena Vista. First fruit, blackberry, hints of oak, but not as pronounced again as in the Buena Vista. Let's give it a whirl. Beautiful wine. The acidity and just a hint of tannins and a wonderful balance with the high alcohol and the full body. Um, it's a long finish, juicy long finish. It has, in addition to the blackberry in the, in, on the mouth, also uh, a little bit of uh, chocolate. I would give this wine a 4.8, ladies and gentlemen. 4.8. These are all great wines. Let's try the Behringer Knights Valley 2016. Behringer Knights Valley Reserve 2016. What do we see? Same ultra dark ruby red color. Nothing see through. Let's give it a sippy sniff. Oh, significantly more pronounced fruit flavors in the nose than the 2018. There's a little bit of plum in here, so it's not just blackberry, it's blackberry and plum. Let's give it a whirl. Again, perfect harmony in the mouth, full body, 
just a little bit of acidity, just a little bit of tannins, but very little. High alcohol, beautiful balance, fruit flavors, some coffee and chocolate in here. 4.9, ladies and gentlemen, 4.9. Again, I like the 2016 better, and I do believe it will last longer. And then third contestant, we have the Pine Ridge. We are starting off with the 2018, just like in every other wine. 2018 first, 22nd, 2016 second. This is the Pine Ridge. Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. By the way, here, 2018 by Vivino 4.4, 2016 by Vivino average draw rating also 4.4. So all three are different. Pine Ridge is equal. And at the Beringer Knights Valley, the 2016 was higher rated. And at the Chateau Buena Vista, the 2018 was higher rated. Color very similar to the Knights Valley. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. The fruits are more laid back. There's a hint of blackberry, but it's just a hint. Overall, not much going on, on the, uh, in the nose. Let's give it a whirl. Strong performance on the palate. Juicy, the finish long juicy, but it's so juicy on the palate. It is, um, almost a mixture of black fruit and red fruit. Clearly blackberry is overwhelming, but it seems like there's some raspberry in here as well. And not as much oak, not, you know, vanilla like I tasted in the others. Um, overall, a very solid wine, but I don't think it can compete with the two others that I just drank. I give this a 4.2, ladies and gentlemen. 2018 Pine Ridge, 4.2, even though the popular Vivino Volt is 4.4. Now checking out the 2016. My friend and partner Korkal is hungry. Korkal, oops! Double try. Korkal! Head goes on. Okay. 2016 Pine Ridge. Color, consistent, dark ruby red, see-through just like the 2016, no see-through, just like the 2016, and very similar in color to the Behringer. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. A little bit more fruity aromas here in the nose. Blackberry predominantly, some hint of oak. Let's give it a whirl. Much better than the 2018, very balanced. There is um, not really strong tannins, very little. The acidity is relatively low. Alcohol is high, full body wine. Overall, strong fruit, uh, fruit profile. Here more blackberries than, than uh, any red berry. Overall, I give it a 4.5. <laughs> and that means two things, ladies and gentlemen. Two things, in all of my three tastings, I liked the 2016 better than the 2018. Don't get me wrong, the 2018 is fabulous, and these are great wines to drink in 2018, but I do like the 2016 a notch better. And I have to say, out of these three wines I tasted, my number one, the 2016 Buena Vista, my number two, the 2016 Behringer Knights Valley Reserve, Buena Vista $30, Knights Valley Reserve $50. So if you consider that absolutely clear winner is the Buena Vista. Try to get a 2016 case pro bowl. It's a steal. And that's it for this show, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this show, please like it and please subscribe to my show. Also, follow me on Vivino. I'm a heavy, heavy, heavy radar on Vivino. I see you next Sunday.